If you are still uncomfortable with the definition of composition in the Claisley category, we will show in this section that the Claisley category is equivalent to the full subcategory of free objects in the eilenberg mohr category. Recall that the Claisley category is the initial object in the category of T-inducing adjoint situations. So given an adjoint situation Fg, there is a unique functor J from the Claisley category to A such that Jft is equal to F and Gj is equal to Ut. And recall that J takes a morphism F to FF followed by the co-unit of Fg on component X prime. We will now prove that J is full and faithful. For arbitrary objects X and X prime in E, the Hom set of morphisms in the Claisley category from X to X prime is by definition the set of morphisms from X to GF X prime in E, since T is equal to GF. Then by the adjunction, this is isomorphic to the Hom set in A from FX to FX prime. We have to verify that this isomorphism is given by J acting on morphisms. We have F as a morphism in E from X to GF X prime, then by adjunction, this is taken to the morphism FF followed by epsilon FX prime, which is, by definition, J on F. Therefore, J is full and faithful. As a corollary, we have the Claisley category is equivalent to the category of free eilenberg mohr objects. By the result above, we have the comparison functor J, which is identical to the comparison functor K defined for the eilenberg mohr category, is full and faithful. Therefore, the Claisley category is equivalent to the essential image of J, which is the essential image of K, and that is by definition the subcategory of free eilenberg mohr objects. And that completes the proof.